that something is very wrong somewhere. So how are we opposition going to do to be more united and to go forward? I suggest that we must try to come forward and cooperate with one another in one form or, or, or another, uh, in one way or another. And this is a very wise way to do. Because you cannot fight somebody with nobody. If you are so split party, how are you going to win the party who is so huge? It's a machinery. So we as opposition must realize that it is wise to cooperate. It is foolish for us to, you know, disagree among ourselves. So let us, all of us in the opposition can try to unite together and put up an agenda or a manifesto where we can compete with the PAP policy. So what are we going to do? There are so many of the things that is not right. So let us propose reform so many of the law in our constitution at the present day. There are certainly a lot of reform in the constitution. In the constitution, we need to reform. For example, the Internal Security Act. It is this policy that is being used against the opposition party in 1963 and 1970 and the 80 when opposition candidate was of caliber material coming to contest against the PAP they use it and arrest them and as a result the political party <coughs> are presenting very weak candidate and the result is very in dismay uh, consequent so let me say that this policy of the internal security must be reformed. We will do some, we will do some changes in there. That this law should not be used against politicians. It is only for the terrorists and those who are using violent method. Then this law can be applied. That is one way. And another policy is. You will find recently there was a constituency in Jurong GRC, an MP passed away. We, the people in that constituency, asked for a by-election. You know what the Prime Minister said? I will decide whether there is a by-election or not. This is very arbitrary. It's not the rule of law. We cannot allow that. That is a sign that the Prime Minister has concentrated him, you, immense power in his hand. We shouldn't allow that. We should, as an opposition, campaign on this line. That power must be taken away from the Prime Minister where he can have the right to appoint ju uh, judges in the Supreme Court. We will make sure that the by-election law in Parliament, those lawmakers, I'm very surprising and I'm very sad. How is it this law is so confused in our constitution in Singapore? It is not, it is not right for a lawmaker to be in Parliament and not putting right the law, especially the constitution, should be supreme. And if this is not the case, then who is supreme? Is the political party supreme? Or it is the, uh, the, 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 the constitution should be supreme? I'm sure the latter is more correct. We shouldn't allow our constitution to be second playing feeder to the po a political party. It is not right. So let us realize that we have many things to reform in Singapore and without there's an, a few points that we must make that this opposition that is now not united together must come forward and discuss more ideas and put that platform right now before I conclude I would like to 
talk about more on the rule of law, especially the my secretary general have been fighting for that. So I'm sure because of the time factors, I will speak it on the next forum. And before I leave you, I want to tell you that we are organizing a forum again next three week time at this uh, Austin Hotel on the 28th of February. And the topic will be about the budget 2009. Thank you.